the left hand of the baby is forward and the right knee of the baby is forward so there's already a crossing happening this is a very important precursor to walking and also to later learning so i have to take say 33 by 23 i have to cross from one side to the other isn't it if i have not crossed physically i cannot cross on paper i cannot cross mentally that is why our physical body is the foundation for emotional and mental development So during the first year of life infants achieve several milestones that are crucial not just in the first year but the first 7 years are very very crucial these are the formative years the word formative means it's not yet formed so the children are still developing uh, the organs when we say uh, lungs and hearts it is not just uh, a smaller heart than an adult heart the entire anatomy is different uh, pediatrics is that is why a different uh, specialization uh, it's not just a miniature adult that we have in children they're still forming they've not yet come to where we are the organs the different parts of the body even their faculties are still forming and i think this is something we need to remind ourselves we need to bear this in mind constantly when we are with children a lot of times we look at many things from our perspective how we look at the world even how we look at uh, even the visually how does something look to our eyes it doesn't look the same to a child because in the beginning uh, you know in the first few years even their sight is still developing they don't have the three dimensional vision yet so it's still forming so in such an age if you go on giving them gadgets which are two dimensional the three three dimensional vision will not develop in the right way if you don't use it you lose it and uh, that's something that we need to bear in mind that these are formative years they're not yet formed and hence do not do everything that you would do with an adult don't look at the world from your eyes when you're dealing with them but from their eyes their point of view yeah this is something i wanted us to um, bear in mind and physical development if i were to hashtag this session you know you, this is uh, we live in the times of hashtag so if i were to hashtag it i would say physical development watch out for everything that's physical in the 0 to 7 years of course cognitive understanding emotional strength is very important but it is the physical body that is the basis of all this and uh, we will see more and more development um the development of the neck one of the first things um that develops is the steadiness of the neck you all have seen a newborn the neck is very wobbly and uh, people will take a lot of care to hold the baby people even ask do you know how to carry a newborn because you just can't lift a newborn like that you need to give adequate support the spine everything is so tender so at this uh, when i'm talking about this i want to mention about these new ways of carrying babies that is um, you know coming up in the market these um, carry bags um, you know they strap the children to their bodies and the children are actually looking out with their hands literally like this um, and, and you know literally facing the world i think that's a very wrong way to carry a baby 
traditionally we carried the baby you know we put them on the chest or held them close with a lot of support to the spine now when a baby is sitting like this even if you put a belt on the baby uh, you can just visualize that the baby's body will come forward and that's not a very healthy thing uh, to happen for its spine and it, and for the muscles and for the bone structure of the baby remember the word formative it's not like your body it's a very tender delicate body that is still developing so very important to protect the muscles the bone structure of the baby at every juncture especially in the very early years we have um, you know uh, beautiful uh, ways in traditionally we have something um, called the dhuli in uh, tamil but i'm sure there are words in other indian languages where a sari is just made into a like a cradle structure uh, when a baby is put to sleep in that or you know uh, you know you rock it um, that is closes to the way uh, the baby is in the womb because the sari uh, will assume the shape of the baby as the baby turns the it moves there's no fixed form but that uh, sari draped on a hook i think many of you will be familiar with this uh, traditional practice so it's uh, it will just take the shape of the baby as it moves and that's a very beautiful way to um you know put the baby to sleep in the early months and of course to have the baby very close to the mother and uh, you know in with the warmth remember that inside the womb the temperature is so warm and cozy and we need to uh, you know give the same thing uh, after the baby is outside too and i think it's um, very important to go back to our traditional practices when it comes to early years or early days of the baby you know as you would have noticed that children explore through their bodies in the beginning or the first one of the first movements after the neck is uh, you know steady then the children learn to turn over and after they uh, turn over if they have had enough flow time when i say flow time not a very uh, cushiony mattress uh, on the floor they need hard surfaces if it, if the weather is too uh, cold then you might need to put a carpet or a dari in india maybe dari but um, not nothing cushiony only then a child will also develop the sense of touch but the sense of touch is the first uh, you know important touch uh, important sense to develop in a child uh, even from the time a, a child touches the cradle or when a child gets this awareness that this is where my body ends and this is where uh, another person's body begins and this is where my body ends and this is where a cradle an alien uh, body is uh, a surface is touching me that awareness is very crucial for normal functioning of the child in later years so on the chest children move forward can you just visualize when a child is doing that a child is using his uh, shoulder muscles his arms and his core muscles that is from the stomach uh, he's pushing forward you all would have observed it but you don't realize what a great landmark milestone this is isn't it amazing isn't it it's a great wonder that each child goes through this journey um, a small um, you know a dot in the womb slowly grows you know becomes bigger and then comes out and if all things grows normal then uh, the child cries and from the fraction of a second a child learns to breathe just that that millisecond the entire process changes from when it was in its womb this is a wonder and we take it for granted we take children and what they do for granted and we impose what we want so strongly on them i'm going to uh, say this a few times maybe i'm repetitive over the years i've realized how much we own children how much we think we possess them and we need to mold them and we need to do 
this and that but i think we need to see what is going to blossom if we don't do all that and if we allow what they have come for in this world to happen and i think that's that's a very important message that i want to put across so when a child as uh, you know as the days he grows and he turns over and then he starts creeping uh, on the chest a lot of times nowadays children don't go through this particular milestone of creeping on the chest now each of these milestones according to neurologist according to remedial therapists according to pediatricians who follow uh, authentic schools and holistic system of medicine this each milestone is important plays a role in the neuro physiological development of the child now of course some of us may not have gone through this milestone some of our children may not have gone through these milestones and they still survive but somewhere when you um, skip certain things certain things may not happen in the way it has to this is the ideal situation that i am trying to give but creeping is an important milestone when the child uses different parts of its muscle which it cannot develop without using these muscles the left hand of the baby is forward and the right knee of the baby is forward so there's already a crossing happening this is a very important precursor to walking and also to later learning now as a remedial therapist i can tell you how important it is for the brain the crossing of the brain we have the right and the left and uh, it's very important for us to do math what is math you have addition and subtraction and you have multiplication you know the crossing so i have to take say 33 by 23 i have to cross from one side to the other isn't it if i have not crossed physically i cannot cross on paper i cannot cross mentally that is why our physical body is the foundation for emotional and mental development this is something that all parents and educators dealing with early childhood need to drill into their minds as the child starts creeping you will also notice that a child is looking around so he's doing multi sensorial he can hear something so he will crawl towards that or he sees a toy that is bright and then he wants to go grasp it and then he's also balancing he is coordinating between the different limbs different muscle groups in his body this is a lot of work this is a lot of work just because for some children it it happens automatically don't underestimate what is happening inside the body it is amazing each individual's journey it's it's like a cause for celebration each milestone is a moment for the child because against gravity the child is first raising himself up on all fours and then of course the child raises himself in two legs and uh, this is these are all uh, you know body physics that a child understands in the process of growing up now there could be a lot of impediments to this one the child constantly being carried and another thing the child constantly falling sick because of various uh, reasons uh you know too much of chemicals uh, for a small cold and cough giving him antibiotics you know feeding formula food very early feeding you know what is chemically laden uh, all this will definitely have a bearing on the development of the physical body